Hi everyone and welcome back to Enjoy English with Mrs. A. I'm Mrs. A and this is a very special episode because I'm going to show you my book. <laughs> I am the proud author of two fiction novels and three English textbooks. So here's the first, Speaking and Vocabulary Practice for B1 and B2. And this is a book I had been sitting on for at least 10 years because I started teaching in Spain in 2008. I'm an official examiner. I taught English at the university and I specialized in official exam preparation. So I've been preparing all the popular exams in Spain. Your TOEFLs, your IELTS, your Escuela Oficial de Idiomas, of course, Cambridge, Trinity, Atlas, everything. IELTS, of course. I would say speaking is the area where Spanish students need more help. However, if you have a look at exam prep books, you will see that the books are great. They have a lot of vocabulary, a lot of use of English, a lot of areas that they're working on, but the speaking part is almost neglected. And I have no clue why it's happening, but I've been basically collecting my own material for years. And then last year I came to the conclusion that, okay, I already wrote two fiction novels. I'm going to write my first English manual. And I have. And writing a textbook is amazing, especially because, as you can see behind, this one is dedicated to speaking and vocabulary practice. And if you plan on getting it for you or your students, I think I should tell you it's a very interactive book. It's not a self-study book and it would work great with a partner or more partners. teaching when I was 23. It was 2008. And one of the people I would like to thank is my former boss, Amaya. I would love to thank you for always believing in me and for pushing me to be the best version of myself. I'm really grateful. To me, you were the best boss in the world and I can't thank you enough. You've done so much for me and you've just pushed me to be better, to do more. And I have to tell you the truth, I, I had a little complex because I was the youngest teacher at the academy where I started and I just wanted people to take me seriously. So I did work long hours and I did put a lot of effort in because, you know, I loved it. I think that this is a job that discovered me. I didn't discover this job. I kind of fell in love with it and took it from there and specialized and just continued adding to my professional plate day by day until I got to this point and I'm very, very thankful. 
Although this YouTube channel is very young, I mean, I started it in March 2020 because of the pandemic. It's going better than I ever expected. Five months later, not even five months later, we're almost at 11K and I could not be happier and more thankful for your support. And I have to tell you guys the truth. Your comments, your words, your appreciation, your likes are the best motivation for me to do what I'm doing. So I would just like to thank you all for, for your support and for your love and for taking me places I never thought I would reach. So a big thank you for that. Another question that I wanted to answer because everyone keeps asking, why are textbooks so expensive compared to novels or regular paperbacks? Well, I found out the hard way. Before writing my first English textbook, I just thought manuals of all shapes and sizes were super expensive and I couldn't understand why a paperback was like seven, eight, 10, 17 dollars, euros, so on and so forth. And a textbook was like 30, 40, 50. So guys, here's why. Color, images, the quality of the paper. The printing quality of the paper for a novel is not the same as the printing quality paper for a textbook. Then of course, the more color your book has, the more pictures, the more that printing price is increased. So guys, this is why. What I make from selling this, I have to look into it, but I think it's only a few euros per unit. So really, this is all passion. And I would like to remind you all that only 2% of writers out there are actually filthy rich and not even a lousy 10% can make a living from writing alone. So there's that for you. If you'd like to support me on my journey, you can find this book on Amazon. I'll drop the link below. And with your support and love, I will keep moving forward. Thank you so much. For the ones of you interested in English classes, feel free to contact my friends and wonderful professionals at enjoyenglish.es. Uh, if you live in Pamplona, Zaragoza, or Valencia. They offer home tutoring. And of course, if you live anywhere else in the universe, online classes, just give them a shout. You can write to them, say hi, whatever you like. And be sure to check out their website as well, where they upload free material for teachers and students every week, including teacher interviews. So guys, thank you so much for this. You've been wonderful. I appreciate every nice comment. Come check me out on Instagram as well and let's stay close. Bye.